music review for you. The 1974 album Veden Fleece by Van Morrison. Um, this was the second album uh, credited to the 1974. Um, he'd just released a double live set, Too Late to Stop Now, uh, which uh, reflected on the uh, recent touring that he'd done. Uh, and that is regarded as one of the greatest live uh, albums ever uh, put on vinyl. So uh, after that, pretty exhausted, um, Morrison went back to Ireland uh, after a six-year hiatus. And uh, it was there that the songs uh, for Veed and Flint's Fleece were uh, created. And uh, uh, for many... Veden Fleece is regarded up there with Astral Weeks. Uh, and uh, I certainly do uh, enjoy the album. Uh, he was also coming off of a divorce, although uh, he did have a, a new relationship at the time that these uh, songs were penned. So uh, let's get to the uh, songs. And we got started with uh, Fair Play. A lovely gentle piano coupled with acoustic guitar and double bass subtly uh, gently emerges from the speakers with vans of smell, spellbinding vocals. Uh, for me, it's a, a hot countryside retreat in Ireland with reference to Oscar Wilde. Oh yes, literature at the centre of the piece. It's truly enchanting. The music rolls gently like a natural stream cascading piano is a highlight and it just is so relaxing you almost glide into nirvana an awesome beginning to track two then linda arden stole the highlights this is a particular favorite of elvis costello and i have to say his choice is excellent continues the mood from track three vans wailing uh please vocally oozes emotional sincerity it's absolutely uh, exhilarating but uh it's also a little bit too short uh lyndon arden was a mythical irish expat living in san francisco and uh this song also neatly segues into uh track three who was that masked man it's about an anti-hero and in track three, the delicate acoustic Spanish style guitar uh, manages well with the piano and Va Van's masterful vocals. Uh, lyrically, it's about a, a man with a gun, a pistol carrying anti hero. Uh, it could be a Rod Robin Hood, but probably l late, latterly, a highwayman. Or there is some suggestion that it might re uh, be the Lone Ranger who was on TV in the, uh, in the 50s. There's some tasteful violins and violas. And it's a re it, it also might be uh, some uh, nod to Freedom Fighters because at this particular time the Ulster Troubles were uh, significant. Anyway, whatever, it's a magical tale sung in falsato uh, about someone who doesn't trust anyone. To track four then, Streets of Arklo, uh, an eerie uh, beginning uh, with flute and whistles. Uh, it, it sort of allows, uh, it's about an historic Irish town, Arklo. I love the slow, funky piano, which forces a, a, a quicker pace. The strings are commanding towards the latter half, giving it a strength, a purpose. It's a song about poetry, uh, about uh, uh, love lost, and about innocence. Track five is You Don't Pull No Punches, But You Don't Push The River. It's a quick and pace here, but retaining the flute piano combo. Fans' vocals snap and yell at you. It's full of passion 
and there's an Irish Celtic feel, as always, just to remind you that this isn't M.O.R. There's reference to religion, the Sisters of Mercy, and Veden Fleece. Veden Fleece apparently is the Irish Holy Grail. I read that on Wikipedia. Uh, it's about a, a, a tomboy child becoming a woman, a woman that you can love. Uh, the spiralling piano and the magical flute and recorder suggests another era. Uh, strings embody the track and it's probably the strongest piece on this gem of an album. So to side two on vinyl opens up with bulbs. It's much of a very uh, much contrasting from the mood of side one. It's a nice acoustic rhythm starts us off. And then this gentle country star melody enables us to skip into the fields. Uh, John Tropia uh, on very sweet guitar breaks throughout. And it's got a real sort of country and western feel. Uh, a la Brown Owl Girl, but it's not as poppy. It really generates a, 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 a quick pace. And uh, the sing-along chorus is particularly striking it's a, a breath of fresh air after the intense celtic mood of the first side uh it's a tale of a young irish girl seeking the promised land maybe with an american following her siblings uh recorded in california uh where Val van lives uh track seven cultist sack a slow blues ballad uh, Van is at his vocal best here. He tears into the words. Some beautiful guitar by Tropia again intermingles with the piano. A song about repeating your uh, trip back home after a, a travel esque was played. Van's passions really get whipped up as we move to the outro. Knowing your roots. Track 8, Comfort You. Another Celtic ballad with a, that Spanish style acoustic guitar. The string arrangements are absolutely tremendous and they're added to gain that extra mood. The need to comfort you, the melancholia bleeds throughout the song. Lyrically, you ease the, your compatriots' burden by encouraging them to share with you. Just as you did as a child, as a child. Track nine is Come Here My Love. It's an acoustic ballad, stripped bare, a raw look at emotions connected with that special one. Lyrics, a need to escape to a calm place with a love so you can uh, appreciate life's joys. It's very short but lovely. And to the finale, a country fair, track two. Uh, and it's a return to Celtic mysticism with some uh, 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 enchanting uh, flute as Van's vocals, picturesque and visually appealing. Uh, listening with, which takes you back to summer, to warmth, to the countryside to feelings of gratitude to be alive, the, the mellowness and the peaceful thoughts are in abundance. It's a beauty. So there we have it. Uh, Veden Fleece, uh, a remarkable piece of work uh, and certainly uh, one of my favourite Van Morrison albums. After this, he, he sort of took a little bit of a hiatus probably uh, emotionally drained but i thoroughly recommend that this album uh gets into your psyche a beautiful piece of work feed and fleece released in 1974 by van morrison <laughs> 